PC Sonic, the heart of your system. I'm Leo Walder for Kit Guru here with FSP, the power supply people at CES 2020. We were walking around the booth and we saw the T-Wings case. We saw this case at Computex six months ago. It's big, it's aluminium, it's lovely. The idea is you build two systems. So one system in this side, one system in that side, obviously powered by an FSP Hydro PTM Plus power supply, common sense says. So if you're a streamer or some such, you need two systems. That's the idea behind it. All quite straightforward, quite a lot of fun. It's a bit Antec talk-ish because it's aluminium and the case is going to go on sale actually quite soon for 500 or so pounds, dollars, euros. I must confess, when I saw this case at Computex, I didn't really expect it to become a product. I thought it was a modder's delight. It's fun. I quite like it. It's a lot of money. No problem. However, they've got some other fascinating stuff on this stand. We have seen the Hydro G power supply before. We're familiar with that. We have seen the Dagger Pro. This is the SFX unit. The original that Alan reviewed wasn't great. However, they rapidly, rapidly fixed the problems. That's a replacement Dagger Pro. That's been out for months. We know about that. This is the Twins power supply. This is controversial in the sense that I personally am not mad keen on it, or not fussed more accurately. Luke loves the idea of Twins. It is two power supplies. Uh, let's get the dummy one that goes with. So that is a power supply in a Perspec case, you can see it. The idea is each rated at 900 watts, and the second unit is for redundancy. That's the primary purpose. So it fits an ATX case. If one of the units fails, the other kicks in. In the event that one is overloaded, but not actually uh, broken, then the other unit can kick in to help. So a significant power rating. Uh, and when you look at the actual power supply itself, as this is you know, a power supply, it's absolutely tiny. The thing is, it's for very particular sectors, particularly obviously workstation use. So that is, it's interesting, but this, the snappily named FSP 530 AKB, is quite amazing. And let's face it, it doesn't look anything of the sort, does it? The significant point is it's been built to fulfill this standard, which is a Californian power efficiency. You do not get the familiar 24-pin connector. Instead, you get this new 10-pin connector. The reason is this power supply does not do 5 volt. It is 12 volt only. This is all to do with power efficiency. I feel there's going to be some pain coming the way of us uh, enthusiast PC builders. The point is your PC still requires some 5 volt. It has to come from somewhere. So the hardware is going to leave the power supply, which is going to make the power supply very slightly cheaper. I've heard rumors from someone else it might be in the order of $5, which is basically nothing. However, the motherboard is going to become more complicated because it's going to have to do a whole load more power processing. The motherboards could become significantly more expensive and have to shed more heat. There's going to be a lot more hardware on modern motherboards using this unnamed Intel standard. So this power supply doesn't fit any PC that I've ever seen. And when the PCs are built that fit this standard, your current power supply will not fit it either. Therefore, you can bet your boots when this standard comes into force and Intel's new standard comes along, that those uh, systems are going to be built by system integrators rather than the home build enthusiasts. Clearly the hardware is going to come out where in time, but in the first instance it's going to be a box where everything works together. Also, this is an Intel standard. We've heard nothing so far that AMD has any part in this equation. This is a significant deal because, let's face it, the Californian market is also the global market. If you can't sell it in California, it probably won't exist. So this power supply which looks as dull as anything, is very significant and shows just how FSP is plugged in at the very front of new standards with manufacturers such as Intel. When I visited FSP, I never expected to see a power supply that was bringing in a new standard. That's fascinating to see. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell button, subscribe, make sure you come and buy a t-shirt. We rely on you. Uh, return and watch more of our videos from CES 2020. I'm Leo Woodford Guru. This is CES 2020.